On January 31st, Qatar Airways has signed a deal for Boeing's freighter version of its newest twinjet, the 777X. The order makes Qatar the launch customer for the new cargo jet, with a commitment for up to 50 airplanes. In a surprise twist, the deal also includes an additional order for up to 50 737 MAX jets. A much-rumoured deal has finally been completed between Qatar Airways and Boeing for its forthcoming freighter variant of the 777X. Qatar's emir was visiting Washington, D.C. for talks with the U.S. president and took the opportunity to sign for a total of 50 of the airplanes during his visit. Commerce Secretary Gina Raimondo, representatives on the government of Qatar, Boeing, GE Aviation and Qatar Airways all participated in a signing ceremony. The 777X freighter deal was signed for 34 firm orders and 16 options. While the 777XF deal had been doing the rounds on the aviation grapevine, more of a surprise was the inclusion of a narrow-body order within the deal, with the airline acquiring up to 50 737 MAX aircraft, replacing the 50 A321neos that were cancelled by Airbus in January. This order is for 25 firm and another 25 options. In one way, the fast timing of the MAX order comes as a surprise. In another way, the move was somewhat predictable. Indeed, it was something we examined in a video just last week. Qatar Airways has been locked in a very public dispute with European plane maker Airbus over problems with some of its A350s. The airline recently released videos showing flaking paintwork and surface cracks on at least three of its A350s and was reported to be seeking some $600 million in damages from Airbus. With the growing tension between the two groups, it's quite natural for the airline to form closer ties with Airbus's arch-rival, Boeing. The arrival of Qatar's Emir, Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani, in Washington, D.C. in late January signaled the start of a busy few days for His Highness and for the United States. Having been received at Andrews Air Force Base on January 30th, the Emir spent the morning at the Pentagon holding talks with the U.S. Secretary of Defense. The Emir then met with President Joe Biden to discuss a broad agenda ranging from energy security to the Ukraine conflict. But before all that kicked off, the President hosted a signing ceremony for an export that is proving to be a feather in Boeing's cap. The 777X has been the subject of some contention in the Middle East, with neighboring airline Emirates growing increasingly displeased with the delays to the timeline of this new giant jet. President of Emirates Sir Tim Clark has spoken out numerous times about his lack of visibility on the delivery timeframes for the aircraft, but has not cancelled his order. Emirates has, however, switched some away from the 777X for the smaller Boeing Dreamliner. Now, Boeing has the vote of confidence it needs to kick off the sales of its 777X freighter. With plenty of airlines still out there operating aging 777Fs, this could be a move that snowballs its order book through the rest of 2022. What do you think of Qatar Airways' orders with Boeing? Is any of this a surprise to you? Let us know in the comments. In addition to our daily YouTube videos, Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles and a podcast every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe before you go.